All right, welcome to part four of my Undertale Let's Play. So we are currently leaving Snowden, and we're going on to a new area. Well, here's that storage box th box thing again. Uh, I guess I can take out mm, maybe some more healing items. Uh, what is going on over here? I guess we have to walk across and avoid the rocks falling. Let me go down here real quick and just check it out. Uh, it looks like you fall down here, so uh, <laughs> there's no reason to go down there. So let's just go across. We just have to avoid the falling rocks. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. <laughs> that was a little sketchy. That's cool. There's like a shadow. Oh, there's Papyrus. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you earlier about. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. Well, what? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them, you see? You see? Uh-oh. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Alright. Uh-oh. So that's Undyne. I guess he's like the leader of the Royal Guard. What's going on? I guess he didn't see me? Probably gonna have to fight that guy later on. Oh, hello, little fella. Yo, <laughs> did you see the way she was staring at you? She? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. <laughs> What'd you do to get her attention? Haha, <laughs> come on. Let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. <laughs> you just tripped. <laughs> her? So Undyne is a girl, maybe? Wait, what did it say? A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Okay. What does it say here? When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Oh. <laughs> Little, like, rubber ducky sound. Hooray! Can we go up any further? No, nope, it's a wall. Is this a mouse hole again? Okay, there's always like little cracks in the wall. Uh oh, enemies. Aaron flexes in. What the heck is that? It's like a unicorn mixed with a... Like a mermaid? With a human? It's like a brony... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not even gonna go any further than that. Shoot. You tell Aaron to go away. You'll change your mind, winky face. Okay. <laughs> uh oh, got hit already. It smells like a muscle farm. Uh, I guess we'll flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. Winky face. Why is he winking at me so much? Aaron is ready for your next flex. Okay, I guess we'll flex again. You flex harder. Aaron flexes tr thrice as hard. <laughs> Attack increase for you too. Nice. I won't lose though. Whoa. 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 This is getting so fast. Aaron is ready for your next flex. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won? I got 30 gold? Wait, how do I spare him? Aw. Maybe I should, like, ignore him next time. How do I get over there to read the sign? That suspicious sign. What happens if I like click on all these? I wonder if I get an achievement for clicking on all those mushroom things. Oh, maybe I can use these to get to the sign. Or not? Crap. <laughs> uh, I may have messed up here. If an error is made, the Bell Blossom can call Bridge Seeds back to where they started. Ding. Oh wait, maybe... <laughs> I 
I don't even know. How would I get to the sign? Oh well. So I think you have to get four together to make a path. No? Alright. I guess that's the wrong wrong way to do it. Um Oh, wait. I'm actually very confused right now. You have to get four aligned in a row to make a bridge. Oh, maybe you just do it, like, right here. This probably won't work, but I just want to see if it... if it blossoms. Yeah, they blossom, okay. So I have to find, like, a way to put four together. I mean, up here is three, this is three, three, two, three, three, and then two. I'm really, really confused. Oh wait, maybe I can put them all here and read the sign. All four, yeah. Maybe it'll have like a tip or something like that. Three and four. Congratulations, you failed the puzzle. <laughs> oh man. Uh. I don't I don't get it. What if I put four together? No, that doesn't work. They have to be like four. Uh oh, I may be stuck here. I don't. I don't understand. They have to be aligned, all four of them. So none of these are gonna work. Well, I could put them maybe vertically. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. But then again, how would I do that? No, I'm stuck. Crap. I'm literally stuck. This, this is not good. Oh! No, I thought I could carry them over. Why am I... I don't know. I don't understand why I'm sucking so bad. Maybe if I put it this way. Oh, okay. I got it. Okay. Maybe... Yeah, there we go. Okay. This puzzle was actually kind of tricky. I didn't know you can, uh, like, throw them upstream. There we go. Ring. Hello. This is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? What will you say? Yes. So you are wearing a bandana. Got it. Wink wink. Have a nice day. Okay. That guy's so weird. Long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you ho hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Whoosh. It's like we're fighting Pokemon. Oshua shuffles up. What the heck is that? Is that like a water tank? I don't even understand. You ask Woshua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Whoa! Holy crap! At least I healed a little bit. Well, she was rinsing off of pizza. The heck! This is the weirdest creature ever. <laughs> Come on, sis, make a wish. So these flowers record the last thing someone says to them. I think. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Look through the telescope. 
guess. Whoa. Check wall. Check wall? What does it mean, check wall? Check wall. Upwards. Okay. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Okay, so I think we're supposed to go up and check the wall. There we go. What with all these signs? Ancient writings covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Oh, what's over here? Nothing? Why did the humans attack? Indeed. It seems they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Whoa. It's like a boat? Like a little raft? Alright. Keep on going. Whoa. Is that Undyne? Uh oh! Run! Whoa! Run! Oh crap! Oh crap! <laughs> Alright, if I get hit, I go into like a battle screen. Nope, I got it. Ah! a bunch of spears at me. Run! Alright, I think I made it. Oh no, my friend! Did, did he kill my friend? Like that little guy? He's probably gonna come up in a second. Yep. There he is. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me! I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left... Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Okay, so Undyne happens to be a girl, apparently. Remember with all these uh, little docks? Kinda wanna fish. Okay, what is this? This cheese has been here so long a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. <laughs> Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Alright, moving on. Oh wait, let me do one thing real quick. Alright. It's an odd looking telescope. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How about it? Use a telescope? Yes. What kind of telescope is this? It's just all red. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. <laughs> I'll give you a full refund. <laughs> what? Okay, um... What the heck is this looking thing? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? No, I'm not a star. What's in... Oh, is this a shop? Yeah, this is a shop. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. <laughs> I'm sure to get customers to come back. Your 
cards in the box. You got the nice cream. I actually can't I can't fit enough nice cream in my inventory. Oh well, I'll just buy two. The ancient gloves have been painted over with a list of twenty one different flavors. <laughs> Wait, wasn't there a box over uh, here? Okay, I can put the uh nice cream in the box. There we go. Now I can buy two more and then get a free one. Make this guy's day, since I have so much money anyway. Alright, so I got all four cards, I think. Two bugs in the box are playing a four card game. <laughs> Take a card. Take. All games must end one day. You got a punch card. Alright, so let me take all the cards. You're carrying too much. Wait, I need... F I'm wondering, do I need four punch cards? Or do, do I need... him to punch the card four times? Alright. Let me just get the other two and see what happens. Inventory space isn't <laughs> isn't very large if I can't carry pieces of paper. Hey, you have three punch cards. How about redeeming them for a nice cream? It's free. Here, a free nice cream. You lost three cards and got a nice cream. All right. Uh, I thought it was four cards, but it turns out it was three. So whatever. Let's put the uh, punch card in here and let's take out. Uh, let's take out some. Just one, that's fine. Well... Should I get one more? Nah, nah. What's done here? Wait, is that where I'm supposed to go? I don't want to go... I want to explore a little bit. A rubber ducky. Hey, ducky! Alright, let me go back. I guess I have to go around. It's so dark. Why is it so dark? You hear a passing con conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. I'm gonna go left. Okay, that was dumb. What's in here? It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Take it. You got the ballet shoes. Let me look at the info on the ballet shoes. Ballet shoes. Weapon attack 7. These use shoes and make you feel incredibly dangerous. Okay, I can equip these? Wait, hold on. Oops, crap. Dang it, I accidentally used my best piece of uh, food. I was trying to look up info on the tough glove. Alright, so the ballet shoes are actually better than the tough glove. Although it doesn't really matter since I don't fight anybody. Ring, hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you, you knew that already, and because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing, a bandana, because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way, you're safe and I didn't lie. There's no betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Okay, so he's talking about Undyne, the little knight that's been after me. Oh, this guy again. Gotta flex a few times. At least the like random encounters aren't too frequent.
Oh wait, maybe I'm not supposed to flex. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to ignore him like three times in a row. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. We're in like some sort of magical land. The wishing room. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. So monsters can take the human souls. What the heck is that? Tentacle monster! Uh-oh, we're gonna have to fight something big. Octopus boss! <laughs> it's so cute. Hey there, notice you were here. I'm Onion San. Onion San, you here? Oh, what? Okay. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time. But, hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. Alright, before I go any further, I want to look at something real quick. Um, give me one second. I want to look something up on the forums. There's like that duck that we passed earlier. I wonder if there's a way to get to it. And if for some reason... Okay. It must be something at the end we can do. I don't know. Oh, we have to go to Undyne's house and then we can get to the duck. Okay. <laughs> I was just want really curious about that rubber duck that we passed earlier. Or a real duck. I don't know. Okay, let me just... I read somewhere that you need the um, ballet shoes to give the Undyne, so... And the aquarium's full. Anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? What the heck is this creep-looking thing? Hey, <laughs> that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall... What the weirdest looking thing? Onion sand? Probably have to fight that later on. Shiren hides in the corner but somehow encounters, encounters you anyway. Um, smile. You smile. You ask to see Sh Shiren smile too. Shiren gets quieter in the corner. Aaron nods his head approvingly. Hum hum. Shiren thinks about doing karaoke by herself. Hum. You hum a jazz ballad. Shiren follows your melody. Sire, sire, simmy, simmy. Alright, now we can spare it. You win. So weird. The northern room hides a great treasure. We're going to the northern room then. There's a piano here. Play it? Yes. What the heck? What, what's the notes? Haunting song echoes down the quarter. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. I don't get it. What 
What the heck? Okay. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. The first eight what? I don't get it. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. An incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. Uh, I might have to look up this melody as well, because I'm kind of curious. Unless I did it wrong. Piano. For some reason, it takes so long to search the Steam store while in, well, like while using the client. You have to get the music box. Circle up, right, circle down, down, and right. I don't want to cheat. You're meant to put the umbrella on the statue to get the solution to the puzzle, but yeah, the solu the umbrella on the statue. Alright, well, I'm not going to cheat. They're telling me the answer, but if I don't find it in the game, then I feel like just using the answer is kind of a... Oh, wait, maybe this is it. It's a statue. The structure at its feet seems dry. Okay, so I'm supposed to use the umbrella on the statue. Oh, here's an umbrella. Please take one. Okay, now I can take the umbrella back to the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. The music box continues and doesn't stop. Circle, up, right, circle. Circle, up, right, circle, down, down, right. Circle, up, right, circle, down, down, right. Okay, so it's up, right, down, down, right. So up, right, down, down, right. 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 Down, down, right. I did it! Hooray! It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Sure. You're carrying too many dogs? Annoying dog? What the heck is this? Dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. When did I get a dog? Hold on. I need to, I guess, use... I'll use that. I'm carrying too many dogs. <laughs> what the heck? Annoying dog. Can I drop the dog? Hold on. I don't want to, like, screw up here. don't understand. Uh, what the heck is an annoying dog? You deployed the dog. Oh, there it is. 
The dog absorbs the artifact. <laughs> then he just went away? What? Dog residue? Dog item. Shiny trail left behind by a dog. The rest of your inventory filled up with dog residue. What the heck is dog residue? I'm so confused right now. I'm like having to search all this stuff up because I don't understand what's going on. Uh What in the world am I supposed to do with dog residue? I don't understand. Like, I'm looking... Hold on. Let me look at the internet. <laughs> Dog residue is a miscellaneous item obtained in the artifact room north of playing the piano in the waterfall after the annoying dog steals the legendary artifact. Using the dog residue fills the inventory with dog residue and... and dog salad. Keeping a single dog residue ensures a farmable source of gold. Okay, so apparently... Apparently you can get dog salad at random by using the dog residue. <laughs> All right, so we need one piece of dog residue to farm gold. The rest, I guess, is worthless. I don't... It's, it's so freaking random. Like, how would I even know this on my first playthrough? Like, on my first playthrough, I would just be like, this is crap. I'll just drop it. <laughs> All right, let's take another umbrella. It's raining, it's pouring. Oh, man, this guy. You got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. Freaking dog residue. Crazy dog. That dog was from like way earlier on in the game. I completely forgot about it. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bad I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up, haha. -ha. Okay. I'm looking forward to fighting this Undyne character. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. <laughs> okay. This kid has like a crush on Undyne. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Alright, so we finally made it to the castle, it seems. And once we get through the castle, we'll be able to get through the barrier to get out of this place. I don't know. Oh, there I am. I guess I haven't made it to the castle yet. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. 
Oh, he's gonna help me. Hooray! Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. <laughs> he keeps falling over. Another save point? The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. Wait, what did it say? The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. Okay, so I guess we're moving on. I'm sure we're going to fight Undyne soon. Probably right now. Yep. Undyne. Oh. This actually seems easier than the last, last time. Uh oh, where am I supposed to go? I'm guessing this way, although I'm not sure. It keeps getting faster and faster. Uh oh. Faster and faster and faster. There we go, made it. Now what? Hello. No. The end. Game over. <laughs> Sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. TF, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... I don't remember ever selecting my name. I guess I forgot to do it at the beginning. <laughs> I suppose you could have selected your name, but my name is just TF. All right, I guess we'll go this way. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. <laughs> I don't know how that fills you with determination, just seeing garbage. A beat up desktop computer, the inside is empty. It's a cooler, it has no brand, and it shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze dried space food bars. Take one? Yes. You got astronaut food. I'm gonna see what astronaut food does. He has 21 HP for feeding a pet astronaut. I wonder if I can take another one. I can, sweet. It's a DVD case for an anime. <laughs> Desperate claw marks cover the edges. What is this thing? Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Yes. You tap the dummy with your fist. You feel bad. <laughs> Uh-oh. Fool, you think you can hurt me? 
I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat, but the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. Uh oh, another little boss fight. Mad dummy blocks the way. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll talk to it. Oops. Wait. Mad dummy, attack 30, defense, yes. Because their ghost physical attacks will fail. Feeble, feeble, feeble. Whoa. Bunch of little scribbles. Ow! You dummies, watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you f forget I said anything about magic. Talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. I'll defeat you and take your soul. Mad dummy glares into a mirror. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. Mad Dummy is bossing around its bullets. Uh, can I just spare it? I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. Alright, I guess I just... I guess I'm just supposed to wait until he kills himself. Mad Dummy is doing an armless ska dance. Then everything I want will be mine. Dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box. I I'm just gonna keep sparing it, I guess. Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Whoa. I didn't even hit it. What was their name again? Oh, crap. I'm gonna have to heal up after this. Some ice cream. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Come on, hit it! Yes. Stupid dummy. That dummy is getting caught in all over the dialogue box. Futile, 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 futile. Is it dead now? What am I supposed to do? Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful! guys. Uh-oh. Dummies. 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 Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures. You're all, f you're fired. <laughs> you're all being replaced. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Now you'll see my true power relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical weirs fill the room. I guess I'll just keep sparing it. Dummy bots, magic missile. Oh, I think I could have. Oh crap. I think I probably could hit him. Oh, oh I hit him once. <laughs> Dummy is bossing around the bullets. Dummy bots, you're awful. Whoa. I'm gonna hit him. Yes. Dummy bots, final attack. Crap. Oh, crap! Oh, I hit him like that was like a direct hit. No way! These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I've got knives. I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me forever. 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 Ah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh oh. What's going on? 
What the heck is this? Erg, acid rain. Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. <gasps> that guy. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no. You guys look like you were having fun. Oh no. I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm going to head home now. <laughs> Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want, but no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. <laughs> hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see, or in case you don't. <laughs> you feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. All right, let me see how long this video is. It seems like it's getting kind of long. Yeah, it's about 46 minutes. I guess we'll keep going for a little bit further. Not a whole lot has happened over the last, like, 45 minutes, but, uh... Yeah, it seems like we're making a little bit of progress. Let me s Well, I guess we should see... I don't know, there's a lot of different paths. I guess we'll check out one of these homes. Oh, you really came. Sorry. I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. This is a nice home. I want to. I would like to have a home like this. Spook tunes. Play it. <laughs> Spook wave. Oh, that's awesome. Gulliday music. Uh, I like this one the best. Dang, that ambience. It's like my whole body is being spooked. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Yes. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. <laughs> it's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Yes. Okay. Follow my lead. <laughs> Here we go. You'll die. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So only move around when you want to get up, I guess. All right, I guess, uh... <laughs> What's going on? Oh, it's... Things are changing. We're seeing the... Oh, man, we're tripping out. The universe, the stars, the solar systems. I guess I'll wait a little bit longer, see if anything else happens. I don't think anything else is going to happen, so I guess I'll get up. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to keep working on that mix CD. Okay, well... There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Okay, let's get out of here. Check out the other house, it's locked. Okay, I guess we'll see what's over here this way. Uh-oh, awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bloop Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Okay, snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizon. Snail, snail. So, snaileth some bloil. I've been long overdue for a second house. What is all this? Snail racing? Awesome. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. 
the snails will race. And if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. Okay, let's play. Okay, press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? Oops. What the heck is my snail doing? It's on fire? What the heck is my snail doing? What the heck? It just stood there. Oh, it <laughs> looks like you you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. Oh man. Do you want to play a game? Okay, let's play one more time. Maybe I'm not supposed to encourage it. It like stops a little bit when I try to encourage it. It's so freaking slow! Stupid freaking snail, go! Why does it stop every time I encourage it? Race end. Oh, you both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. I mean, this is getting ridiculous. He's just stealing all my money. <sighs> Maybe I should press Z, like... Like, uh, many times at the beginning? So, like... Go! Oh wait, now it's just not moving. Okay, this stupid freaking snail game. I wonder if you can win this game. I'm gonna look at the forums and see if you can win. I don't think you can win this. First place earns 9G. Eight consecutive hits at the beginning of the race is the best method of getting first place. Second place earns 30G. What the heck? You can actually win this? Alright, I gotta try one more time. Okay, so... One, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go. It's so freaking slow! <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> Freaking snails. I give up. So maybe I'm just supposed to do it like one at a time. We'll try it one more time. I think you're only supposed to do it once, like at a time. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now it's going faster. Okay, now we'll win. It's just because I did it too fast. This is like the stupidest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> go, snail, go. I just want to win. Oh, it's going to be so close. Race end. 
Your snail lost by a thin margin. Actually, the snail is under the false belief that it won. Oh no, the snail is looking over here. Here, I'll give you some money. Act like you won. You got a 30G. Alright, let's try one more time, because I think there's a way to win. I gotta do this one last time. Alright, I did it much faster, so I should get the lead by the end here. I can't believe I'm racing snails. I did not sign up for this. <laughs> I did not pay $5 for this game to race snails. <laughs> Alright, this time I definitely won. Race end. You won. Congratulations. As a prize, you get 9G. Sorry. We have to make a profit somehow. <laughs> okay, well, that was a complete waste. I guess that's a way to make a lot of money, I suppose. You can earn 30G over and over again, but other than that, it's kind of dumb. East Hotland. West Timmy Village, maybe? I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Okay, let's just make a save, because I don't want to go through all that hell again. <laughs> Alright, I want to see what's over this way. Oh, the duck! This little bird wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer. No. <laughs> no. What the heck is the Oh, this is... I think this is where... What? 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 It's a living... Okay. Is this where Undyne lives? Doesn't seem like anyone's home. I think this is Undyne's house. You know, this game kind of reminds me of Adventure Time, sort of. Just being so random. Alright. Uh, that's the pause it. I guess some astronaut food. Yeah, I just want to have like two spaces open. Oh there, I've got some neat junk for sale. Can I sell stuff? Ha, ah, I'm trying to get rid of my junk. <laughs> Not get more of it, though. I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Timmy Village is your best bet. Where is it at? I don't remember. <laughs> so I can buy a crab apple, a CT, Uh, cloudy glasses. Armor, five defense, negative two defense, invincible longer. Torn notebook. Alright, I don't need to buy anything, so I'm just gonna leave. I don't want to talk to this weird old turtle looking guy. Kind of creepy. <laughs> I don't know why anything's here. Odd. Guess we'll just keep on going for a little while. Well, let's see what the time's at now. Let's see, we're at, oh, we're almost at an hour. You know what? I think I'm just gonna end this video here, and then in the next video, we'll continue onwards. We're pr there's probably gonna be a boss fight up, like, coming up soon, because there, well, I mean, I guess we fought the dummy. I guess that sort of counts as a boss fight, but we really want to see who Undyne is. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, next episode will be part four, or actually, this is part four. Next episode will be part five. Uh, so yeah, join me for that. And uh, yeah, we'll have some fun. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.